So what's next here? Looks like pretty drawish, doesn't it? Bishops of opposite colour. They've got double pawns here at this moment in time, but that means they've got space for their rooks. So that's a positive for them. Now the bishop's getting into activity. Could put a check on the king just to say, well, look, there's a check on your king. Could look to double up the rooks on this file. It does have a dark square bishop though, and that would cause us a bit of a problem because the bishop would come here. Could do this, but then behind this pawn is nothing. Okay, right. Things to think about. Bishop could come and attack the pawn just to be a bit of a menace. So this bishop is working hard. It's got a check here and then it now it's attacking an un undefended pawn. Rook comes down just to support. Rook's in the centre of the board. Excellent. So in my eyes, it's no longer part of the game actively. So it looks like we can go... Well, no, we're not doing that, are we? <laughs> Keep saying... He's got a check on our king, so he's going to utilize it at some point. So I'm actually going to just bring the rook here. So we're ready to move the king back. Because this will be coming in. It's not coming in anymore. Right, okay, so let's just bring the rook across. So the bishop's probably moving, so his rook gets involved, but don't forget we have a ninja bishop right here. So positional play is still sticking with the 1250 for the opponent. Attacking the smaller piece, attacking the higher piece. That can't be right. Can't be wrong, sorry. So we can just squeeze here. He doesn't have a white square bishop. So let's just um, bring this rook up. Still maintaining pressure on the pawn. X-ray through to the rook. So this pawn is all by itself. And are they looking to exchange off? Or I think they're looking to exchange off. We get this pawn here. So they see a bit of gold. Rook comes and takes. Rook comes and takes. Or oh, the pawn takes either way. So I'm going to just take the pawn here. Do we take with the rook or the pawn? That's the question. If we take with the pawn, it's probably going to be sitting more in draw land, isn't it? If we take with the rook, we've got plan. We could come and attack this pawn here. Bishop comes to defend. Come and attack this pawn. Bishop comes to defend. So that'd be a waste of my rook's movement, really, wouldn't it? Shall we just take with the pawn? And then maybe move this way. So the bishop's now blocked in by its own power. So the rook is going to have to come and defend, but it's not going to stay there for long because our bishop will be able to hit. So he'll have to find a way of, oh, come on, give me a break. So we can bring the bishop here. Does look draw land. And with the way I've got my screen set up, I won't, I won't be able to see if they do offer a draw. Mind you, will it flash up on the screen at the top? And the king's coming in to defend. Let's go here. So that's defending the bishop. So they've got good forward planning type thing, haven't they? You know, seeing this sort of stuff. So now we can't go in there at all. So we may as well just bring the bishop here and lock that down. And utilise these pawns. Could attack this pawn, but he's just going to defend. I don't even have to do anything with the bishop. I could just leave it there. Get the rook up. Rook here. What's it doing there? Poor majority on this side. There has to be something that we can do. Rook up. I don't think it's a rook up situation. I think it's a pawn thing. 
push. King. Let's get the king in. See if we can cause some trouble with the king coming up here, coming up here. Yeah, I'm keeping these like as they are. I don't think there's much that can cause trouble on this side. And if we can get that king to have to think about coming here, then the bishop is getting taken. So I think they're going to have to move the bishop first and then get the king moving down. Something like that. Pawn's pushing. I'm, like I'm just attacking the pawn. Attacking the pawn. I just need to push this. Like I said, no, I'm not worried about anything that was happening over here. Maybe they're thinking, okay, we'll lock this down as best possible and then I can get into action over here. I'm hoping they've lost a bit of tempo. So the rook's probably coming to defend the bishop now so that the king can get involved. As we said, the bishop can come here if the rook does do that. Oh, excellent. 